Hi everybody, my name is Leslie Oman from HungryHeffyCrafts.com and today I want to show you how to colour in stamped images using Distress Inks. So let's get our um, products ready. Um, I've got an image here from uh, Unity Stamps Kit of the Month. It's um, the Spools of Threads and uh, in order to do this technique I want to make sure that the image is stamped in um, a sort of a, a permanent ink. I use the Adirondack dye based inks or the archival inks. I like them the best. I'm going to need some distress inks and I'm going to also use um, an acrylic block. I've got a paper towel here and also a piece of spare, it's just a spare piece of card as well so I can test the, the uh, colours. I'm using this watercolour pen, it's quite a clever invention. The barrel of the pen is actually a reservoir, so you fill it full of water, screw the lid back on, or the nib, and then what you can do is, you see that there's a paintbrush nib here, but if you squeeze the barrel, it actually pushes the water out through the, um, the brush nib. So let's get started. All I'm going to do is take the Distress Ink, I'm using Fire Brick um, colour, and tap it onto the acrylic block. I'm using my watercolour brush, I'm going to pick up a little bit of water and some of the ink. And I'm going to test the colour on my spare piece of paper. What happens when you mix the, the water with the ink, it almost has a, a watercolour effect. So you just use the brush nib to paint the, the colour onto the stamped image. Now before I move on to my next colour, I want to make sure that I clean the nib of the watercolour brush. So I'm squeezing the reservoir and that will flush the water through the nib to make sure all that red colour is gone. So let's move on to the green. I'm using Shabby Shutters. Once again, tapping it onto the block and using the brush to pick up the colour. I always like to squeeze out a little droplet of water onto the block so I can dip the nib into it to pick up a little bit of water if I don't want the water to go the whole way through the brush. So I'm adding my uh, green colour to the spool and once again just quite simply painting it on. But this time what I'm going to do is add a little bit of depth and dimension to the the image and this is the way I do it so I'm going to tap some more of the ink onto the acrylic block and I'm going to pick up the um, the ink once again with the brush but using less water it's so just almost using a, a damp brush um, but not mixing it with water like I did before, using mostly the ink. That gets a more intense colour on the on the nib, so you can brush that onto the, the, uh, the edges to create almost shadow effect. So let's do the same with the red. It's picking up mostly the, the ink and not touching the water very much to create this darker red colour. So before I move on to my next colour, let's make sure we clean the nib of the brush by flushing out um, the water through the nib. And I'm going to need to clean off the acrylic block by wiping it with the paper towel. You can also use a wet wipe for this. So let's get some blue. I'm using some tumble glass, but I'm also going to add a little tap of the um, broken china colour. And I sometimes do this so I can test on my scratch piece of paper to see which colour would work the best. But you can also mix the two colours together. And that's one of the really exciting things which I love about the Distress Inks is that they blend so well. So you can mix them together to create um, an even more extensive colour palette. So let's just pick up some more of the darker blue colour to paint in along the edge of the spool of thread 
to create some shadow like we did with the other two spools. So when you've finished all the colouring, you want to make sure that you flush the, the nib of the pen to make sure that it's clean, ready for the next project. And always make sure that you clean the acrylic block uh, really, really well. So there you have it. An image which has been stamped and coloured in using distress inks and a watercolour brush. Let me show you the card that I've made using this stamp and this colouring technique. Here you go. Thanks for watching this video today and I hope you've enjoyed it and be sure to visit me over at my website www.hungryheffycrafts.com for more tips, techniques and inspiration. Bye!